Sometimes it's the simplicity of the golf drill that just helps so many golfers. For this one, you're gonna need a medium iron. I've got an eight iron. Golf tee, I've just got a short pink one here, preferably not a castle. And yourself with an open mind to learn and improve your golf. So I'm gonna use this tee, and I've got it between my thumb and first finger here, and I'm gonna use it to help you develop your club face control. I do this with all my students, and it absolutely confirms and gives them a great way of practicing when they're not with me in my tech that allows them to confirm that they're hitting some of the ideas that we want. So all I want you to do is squeeze the tee between thumb and first finger. Now you can line it up with the shaft or you can have it slightly turned off here if you want. Wherever it starts, you need the reference. So I'm gonna put it more in line with the shaft of my club because now what this tee is doing is it becomes my club face. It's my reference point to my face via the handle, via my hands. So as I move it around, if you imagine this as a beam of light coming out from the club, it's moving around with it. Now we can use this tee at any point. We can go first parallel position. Lots of people want a reference in their swing. So if I want the club face pointing more at the ground, I'm gonna move the tee more out this way. If I want the face a little bit more up to the sky, to beyond, that's gonna turn the face more up to the sky and beyond in a more open fashion. Now remember, these positions are all functional. There's no right or wrongs. You need to get the one that works best for you. So if I was gonna draw a shot here, so start it out to the right a little bit, this is now where I'm gonna push the team more out this way in my takeaway and try and feel I get that ball coming back from right to left. The next shot, I'm gonna turn the tee out this side a little bit more. So first parallel now, I'm gonna point it a bit more off to the sky and beyond. And this is gonna help me get my little fade shot. And then somewhere in between there will be my neutral shot. What this tee is doing, it's giving me real good feedback of where that face is via my hands. And that is the big key because you don't see the face. You see the face at the start, it blurs as it takes away and it blurs as it comes through. You've got to feel where this face is as you go. Having this tee jammed between your first finger and thumb on the grip is giving you a key to unlock exactly where that face is if you're not that good at controlling it as it swings around your body. And let's face it, lots of you are not that good at controlling the face. Otherwise you would have the curvatures you want because the face generally dictates the path of your club as well, which is again why this is so key. Now you could move this on to some different ideas. You could take it up behind your head here, full backswing position. Now the more I point this tee towards say my cap, the more I'm gonna hit more on my draw shot. The more I point this tee down my back, the more that's opening the face and gonna make me hit my cut shot. I can use it for my follow through ideas as well. So the more I get the tee here pointing off behind me, the more I'm gonna get that ball going left, starting left, turning left. So I've got it finishing basically with it rotating over more. So when I finish, if I get it going this way, that's gonna draw it. And then in turn, if I get it pointing more at me, on the follow through. Again, that's my cut position where this tee is now pointing more at me at this finished position. Even through to just getting some feelings of some release from parallel to parallel, getting this tee to come a little bit more out as you come back to then a little bit more over rather than people are often coming through with the tee kind of shooting off this way on the way through, again, with that lack of club face control. It doesn't matter if you do this with a driver or wood, you can do it with all. Once you've got this club face under control, it's quite a good idea to try and make sure you're maxing out your distance. And doing that, you need to be thinking about where your wrist angles is with your tee and with as you swing that club around your head. But at the same time, you could think about the way you're stretching, the way you're turning. Now this video here is really helping a lot of golfers gain yards overnight with the same ideas that we're using here today, but with a little better stretch.